The answer was quite plain to see when it was right in front of me. Of course, I told the flying man. The answer must be gravity. He smiled, grabbed a hold of me, gave his wings a one, two, three, and despite my never-ending fall, we left the pit immediately. We rose out from the endless fog and soared above the mountains. We passed the walking castles and erupting lava fountains. I'd never seen so many sights, nor felt the joy of flight. I probably would have enjoyed it were I not afraid of heights. Then at last, I saw the temple. It was just as in my dreams. Carved right into the mountainside, surrounded by a stream, there were stairs made out of sandstone that led up to the door. The flying man descended and we landed on the shore. He said, congratulations, the riddle you have guessed. Enter now the temple walls to face the final test. I was closer to happiness than I'd ever been before. Nervously, I climbed the steps and opened wide the door. It led into what seemed to be a never-ending hall. The corridor was long indeed, but ended after all. Eventually, I came upon a heaping pile of stone. I started climbing over it when I heard an angry groan. I froze in utter horror at the task I must survive, for the rubble I was standing on was very much alive. The creature made an angry sound and started shaking all around. I tried to keep my balance, but I fell onto the ground. A monster made of sandstone that was sleeping on the floor now stood up like a tower and let out a mighty roar. I easily slew the monster. The details, much too gory. What, you don't believe me? Very well, on with the story. I took one look at the monster and ran back the way I came. Call me coward, call me flowered, but you'd probably do the same. I raced back down the hallway and I burst out through the door. I tumbled down the staircase and I crashed into the shore. I swam across the moat before I finally turned around. But the monster hadn't chased me. It was nowhere to be found. Of course, it couldn't follow me. The doorway is much too small. But then to my surprise, the monster burst right through the wall. It tumbled down the staircase too and crashed into the stream. Then rose above the surface and unleashed an awful scream. I looked on in amazement as the monster turned to mud. The water washed the beast away in a brownish stream of blood. The devil was defeated, and I'd solved the angel's mystery. I was about to be happier than any man in history. I re-entered the temple through the crater in the wall and raced down to the doorway at the far end of the hall. There it was, in a cup of gold, the drink of which the legends told. I could almost feel the happiness. The cup was very cold. I took one sip of the purple red, the liquid ran right to my head, and then, just like the legend said, I toppled over, dead.